Hey everybody, uh, this is going to be a single short spoilerless review and that's because I think this movie kind of deserves its own little spot although I'll definitely have some more um, multiple mini reviews coming up soon I've got several kind of on the lineup to, to go coming up soon so today I'm going to mention a Netflix exclusive which just dropped the last couple days um, but it was released theatrically, I think at least in festivals in 2019, although I don't think most people have had access to it until now. Uh, it is the documentary called Circus of Books. And for me, this is a five-star documentary. I've had a couple really high-rated documentaries recently. It's been a good time for those. Um, and I know there's a lot of documentary miniseries going out, but I'm trying to focus more on um, standalone movies. And once again, this is a standalone movie. It's only about an hour and a half, I want to say. I'm double checking it for you there. And um, like most great documentaries, it tells a story that you probably aren't familiar with. You definitely aren't probably familiar with all the details. And um, it tells multiple different kinds of stories. It's super entertaining um, and really great. It tells the story of Barry and Karen Mason. Now, I had never heard of them before, um, and they kept a pretty low profile. Now, to start out, I'll just set the scene. Um, Barry, in the, I want to say the 60s, mid-60s or so, um, was starting to get his name in special effects. He worked on the original Star Trek TV series and 2001 A Space Odyssey. Those are two pretty impressive things. You would think that would be part of the story right there, but it's really just kind of an intro. And he helped student filmmaking with Jim Morrison, of all people. And then his wife, Karen, who actually is probably the main character of this more than Barry. Barry is pretty mild-mannered and um, kind of easygoing dude. He doesn't say a whole lot. But she's really kind of the go-getter. She um, was making her name in, in reporting, news reporting, um, mostly in uh, print news reporting. And a lot of her uh, stuff was aimed towards crime uh, crime reporting. So she kind of was already in things that were pretty intense at that point. So to make a long story short, uh, some things happen to them. Uh, they uh, need a business opportunity and this uh, bookstore, Book Circus, is available. Uh, they buy it and then they flip the words around and put of in the middle and call it Circus of Books. Now, what would make this an interesting story? Well, it just so happens to be probably the biggest um, distributor of hardcore gay pornography in films and DVDs eventually, uh, VHS at some point, uh, books, uh, literature, you know, products to go along with it, everything. Everything you can imagine. So you basically have this really um, conservative looking and very straightforward heterosexual couple uh, with a family and they're not telling their family or their neighbors exactly what they do other than they own a bookstore. That alone would be enough to make this a really interesting documentary but what really elevates it is that it takes so many turns and twists that you would not expect and it goes through the whole gamut of emotions. Um, you know, it's funny at times, uh, it's, you know, it's inspirational at times, uh, it's maddening and sad at times. Uh, it really does some incredible things, and it does touch on a lot of things that you would expect it to touch on, but in ways that are interesting and unique. The key is it never really loses track of the people that are at the center of this, and that's this couple and their family. Um, and all of their, the people that work in their bookstore, and the people that went to that bookstore. It's a very important location in that community at that time and you know, for a long time. Uh, it definitely goes through the AIDS crisis and how that affected everything. Uh, gives you a, basically a little mini history of that, a little mini history of um, you know just the rights of being gay at all, um, the obscenity laws and how all that stuff went down in the 80s, especially and with Reagan and all that. There's a lot of things, especially if you're younger than. You know, my age, if you're 30, mid 30s or younger, a lot of this stuff you may only have a hazy idea of. And this will give you a really interesting uh, perspective. Spectacular movie. Um, and 
what I really loved about it without giving away spoilers is it lets all of the human beings that are involved in this family have their flaws and show how they can grow and it really is also one of those things where it shows you um, especially for younger people there's always this idea that, like that you know I'm cool and hip and I'm in the know and I I'm really getting it and these old you know okay boomers are not getting it uh, and it's just a good a good kind of wake-up call that when you see that old couple or that old guy or that old lady uh, you know this in their 50s or 60s or 70s you don't know their history and some of these people that are that old have done some incredibly daring things and an extra little half star I think it got just for sneaking in some um, highly uh, <laughs> questionable photo photographic material uh, as they go through their bookstore and their video store you see parts of some of those video uh, covers that I was expecting they would have blurred out or not got through the sensors but somehow they did so shh, don't tell anybody um, if you're easily triggered or you have problems with you know hardcore sexuality uh, especially uh, homosexuality well then you need to get over that and you need to watch this movie uh, if you can't get over that I'm sorry I'm not helping you out with this review anyway I highly recommend Netflix Circus of Books they had it on the top page for a day or so I'm sure it'll disappear pretty quickly because this is not an easy sell to mom and pop America although it should be all right enjoy I'll be back with some more soon